Welcome to the Runtime Error, the place where programming begins. We all know that for 2024, TCS has already announced its TCS NQT exam dates. The applications were out last week and I hope so that you have already filled the applications. Since all are excited for this TCS NQT exam, but I can guarantee you that there is some kind of anxiety in between you because you are so confused what to prepare and what not. Most interesting point that is TCS has high and vast amount of aptitude. So people are confused what are the must do aptitude questions. Don't worry, in this video I am going to explain you every single thing like what are the salary for the fresher in 2024 TCS and QT? What is the different of exam pattern in 2024? What type of coding questions you are expected in TCS and QT? And the last one which is really important that is what are the must do aptitude questions. I highly recommend you to stay till the end of the video so that you can come across every single thing in detailed manner before appearing or sitting for the TCS NQT 2024. So without any further delay, let's start with the video. So let me introduce myself, I am Pramod Bosley, working as a system engineer at TCS Digital since last two years. So I have enough experience telling you what to do and what not because I have also given TCS NQD exam back in 2022. So the first one, salary for the freshers. So when a college going student or an engineer when it apply for any company, what is the first thing he thinks in his head? That is package, right? So TCS mainly comes with three different types of profile. First one is Ninja, second one is Digital and the last one is Prime. This Prime is introduced a new profile because during my time it was TCS Innovator and now they have changed it to TCS Prime. So TCS Ninja mainly gives you salary of 3.36, Digital mainly gives you the salary of 7.02 and the Prime gives you the salary of 9 LPA. This is for undergraduate that is engineering student. I highly recommend you not to think of TCS Ninja since salary is very low. And surviving with this salary in the metropolitan cities like Pune, Mumbai, Kerala, Ahmedabad becomes a lot more difficult. So go for the highest level, prepare at the highest level so that you can get at least TCS digital profile since we are getting high enough salary in our hand. So this was about the salary what TCS is do, going to give you for 2024 TCS NQT. So now we will check what is exam pattern. Since exam pattern has changed in 2024, so TCS NQT test will be totally of 190 minutes. Here you can see and it will be com contains 83 questions total. This 190 minutes is mainly categorized into two parts. That is first one is called as foundational round. Second one is called as advanced round. Foundational round will be of 75 minutes containing 65 questions and advanced round will be containing 115 minutes of 18 questions. So can you imagine 115 minutes for 18 questions? So just think what will be the level of that question. Similarly here 75 minutes contains three uh, categories numerical ability reasoning ability and verbal ability which means foundational round is completely focused on aptitude section an advanced round is mainly classified into two types that is first one is called as advanced quant plus logic and second one is advanced coding quant and logical plays an important role so i am going to tell you what are the topics you need to prepare for quant and what are the topics you need to prepare for the logic logical reasoning so just stay till the end of the video, don't just keep in between, otherwise you will miss some important things. So I hope so you came to know the exam pattern, this is revised pattern. And most interesting point, every single section has own passing mark. So just don't think that I will cover foundational round and I will get good enough mark since it is easy. No, advanced round will have its own passing mark. Coding section will have its own passing mark. So prepare every single question at in-depth clarity. So this was all about the exam pattern. So let's move ahead. That is coding round. That is what type of questions is expected in coding round. So the first one is there will be a total three questions in the coding round out of which two will be of medium level and one will be a bit harder level. I'm not saying that whole hard level, but a bit hard level. 
second one is total there will be time of 90 minutes in 90 minutes you have to do a three questions of coding and then the, what kind of language you can use to uh, solve this question you can use c then use c plus plus java or python you can use any of them there is no any restriction that you have to use only c only have to use cpp no you can solve one question in c other question in python other question in java there is no any restrictions on you and the maximum cut off is you have to solve at least two problems from the three questions so just make sure that you have good enough hands on the coding as well don't, don't just think that i will prepare only aptitude no also think of coding point of view as well so this was all about the coding round so now aptitude this is the most important part in tcs nqt i can guarantee tell you that this is the most most important part because almost 90% of tcs nqt exam mainly contains aptitude questions as you saw before that is 75 minutes for foundational round and 118 minutes for advanced round and what does it contains mostly mostly aptitude section so this is the most important thing so focus this on this part don't miss any of the part since i'm going to tell you some important things in between so stay till the end so we know that aptitude section is classified into three sections that is verbal quant and reasoning i have highlighted quant in a pink color because it is the most important thing it is the most important thing people study verbal section and reasoning section really well because it is easy to study and they ignore the quant no just remember that each section has a separate passing so let's start what are the must do aptitude topics for tcs nqt 2024 first one is verbal section let's start with the verbal section so words or sentence completion this is the first topic that is verbal section contains lot more of the questions so what does it mean so what does it mean that you will be given a particular sentence and you need to fill that particular word or particular sentence in between it so this is also called a sentence completion and this may contain one or more words missing and you will be given a four option just like this you can see the dog was incredibly dash after playing in the park so there will be the four different types of option which will be the correct one just fit in that fill in the blank section so this type of the question is expected in the word or the sentence completion second is error detection so what does error detection will contain so error detection will what does it do you will be given a four different options see you here a b c and d out of these four options you need to find the correct one an indian ship is this a sentence grammatically correct or not laden with merchandise is this sentence grammatically correct or not so whichever sentence contains error you need to just tick it and if it does not contain error say for example a b c does not contains any grammatical error they are correct one then simply mark it as a no error so this is the second topic that is expected in verbal section so the third topic is arrangement so what does arrangement will contain is so you will be given a four or five different types of sentences and you need to arrange them in a particular sequence in particular scenario say for example here see there are the total of types of statements they have given you and you need to arrange in a proper order so this is what is expected in arrangement make sure that this is a most time consuming one since it contains 6 5 or seven uh, sentences and you need to read it and then you need to re rearrange it so this is the type of a topic that you need to prepare a lot since it consumes a lot more of time so pay attention on arrangement topics really well and then uh, reading comprehension so what does reading comprehension says that you will be given a particular passage a long passage and then you will be asked a question on that passage so you have to read whole passage and then try to answer depending upon the a uh, passage or the scenario you what you have read in the passage so this was the verbal section according to the my experience i thought that these are the must do verbal section topics so don't miss this apart from this there are lot more other topics as well but these topics you should not be missed at any point now let's start with the quant section which is really important so i highly recommend you to watch this quant section really really carefully because it is really important so we know that the quant section contains many topics like we have number system mensuration arithmetic statistics data interpretation ratio proportion average sici so these all are topics and apart from this there are certain other topics as well but the point is 
what is the main important topic that we need to prepare for the quant we all know that quant section contains mainly 10 to 15 topics but out of those 10 to 15 topics there are certain topics that we need to focus more on since it is related to the other topics and since it contains a lot more of questions in aptitude exam so let's check what are those must do quant section topics so the first one is percentage the percentage has wide wide range of its application on other topics as well percentage can be used in an average topic it can be used in simple interest compound interest mixture and allegations work time and energy in all the topics percentage plays a crucial role and believe me once you come to know the percentage topics other topics becomes lot more easier so this is the must do question must do topic so learn all the basic concept of percentage and solve enough amount of questions how to use it when to use it and what to use it most interesting point it is if you are starting with the quant aptitude section start with the percentage since it is related to the every other topics of the quant section so don't miss the percentage in any case i know this is the vast topic and it is a bit complex topic but please don't miss this topic since it will help you in other topics like average simple interest compound interest mixture allegation work time energy it is related to other topics as well so this was our the first topic second one is called as simple interest and compound interest as i told you previously percentage will help over here so don't miss that percentage topic so the easy level questions will be directly asked on formula based that is what how to calculate the simple interest how to calculate the compound interest and all the stuff and uh, lengthy questions will be asked since it will contain whole paragraph it will telling you the scenario x amount was deducted x amount was added so the questions length will be lengthy so read properly and the last one is pay attention to the easy words since it can alter whole meaning of the questions right pay attention to each and every single word in the question they have given to you because they might ask you to calculate the compound interest but there might be a certain word in your question that can change its meaning to the simple interest so play pay close attention to every single word it's a really important word make sure you have studied percentage before studying this topic so the next topic is average so again average is a most most widely asked topic in any quantitative section aptitude so what we all expect in the average so average contains different types of topics like average of two medium terms increase in average decrease in average remove or adding in average and the average of middle term so these are the four sections this average topic contains and it might accept at least one or two questions i can guarantee you that it will contain at least one or two questions from the average so study this average sections really well don't miss any part of it and most interesting point is don't just study theory practice questions practice questions without practice aptitude is not at all possible second one is called third one is mixture and allegation again mixture and allegation is the most important part because even if you go to the gate exam it is highly recommended topic so mixture and allegation is important concept in quantitative aptitude it is mainly used to determine the ratio and the cost of the sale for the mixture so this is a really important topic mixture and allegation so it will contain adding removing mixing two or more solution and at then you might ask you to find x percentage of solution mix or removed or added etc they might ask you anything so again mixture and allegation is a most important and must do topic for the quant section ratio proportion ratio proportion has two different types of topics first one is called as ratio proportion and second one is the next topic that we are going to discuss after this that is called as an ages these both topics are related to, to each other so study ratio proportion well because they ask you the kind of a question that might confuse you what to find and how to find so study this uh, ratio proportion really well it is really a small topic but it is a confusing one so don't miss any part of it for example what kind of question has divide 50 into two people in a ratio of 3 is to 2 so such type of question is might as ask so this is a bit easy level question in advance round you might accept expect some higher or harder level question as well so as i told you that ages ages is mainly related to the previous topic called as a ratio and proportion both are similar so study simultaneously first study ratio proportion and then study ages since it becomes a lot more easier so again ages mainly use algebraic equation as well as the ratio proportion concept so they might ask you questions like uh, 
adding a person or removing the person what will be the age of your mother what will be the age of your father what will be your age after 5 years or before 5 years so such type of questions might expected in the topic ages as i told you that ages is mainly linked to the ratio and proportion so don't study it separately study simultaneously first complete ratio and proportion and then go for the ages topic so this was all about the ratio proportion and ages so next is profit and loss again profit and loss after simple interest and compound interest plays an important role i will telling you just listen me carefully that profit and loss without percentage topic is highly impossible i repeat studying percent profit and loss without studying the percentage topic is highly impossible because 90 percent of percentage concept is mainly used over here so profit and loss are the crucial topic in quantitative aptitude section as i told you that it is real important since they will ask questions on cost price selling price etc so this is the most second most highly recommended topic in con section it will contain the questions on profit what will be the profit what will be the loss what will be the percentage profit percentage loss percentage selling price cost price and discount etc don't miss this topic and i can tell you that before studying this profit and loss study percentage study percentage without percentage profit and loss you cannot solve it as you can see they have asked you to find the percentage they have asked you to find the percentage so percentage is important topic so this was all about the con section i hope so whatever i have told you it made sense to you don't don't just sit on only those topic apart from those study other topics as well but those are the must do those are the must do section and reasoning so first one is syllogism in syllogism you have, you can guaranteedly face two question i can tell you guaranteedly that you will face two questions for sure so syllogism mainly contains what it is a reasoning part it mainly contains two or more sentences or premises and we need to have it fundamental structure so syllogism is the most important part so in reasoning section first study syllogism because it gives you kind of confidence since it is easiest topic so don't miss the syllogism second one is coding decoding so everyone is fam familiar with coding decoding that you have given a particular word which is in fumbling fashion and we need to find the logic depending on it and we need to find a correct word depending upon the fumbled word so coding decoding everyone is familiar with don't miss this because there will be at least one question according to the my experience and then the blood relationship venn diagram probability number series these are the must do topics for reasoning section as well so there might be all uh, some other kind of topics as well for each section that is for verbal quantitative and reasoning but whatever i have shared you in this video i have shared you according to the my experience that is what are the must do topics for tcs and qt so i hope so this video has made some kind of sense to you and i have added some kind of value in your knowledge before appearing to the tcs and qt 2024 so just in case if you are new to the runtime error please 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 do subscribe the channel since it motivates me to prepare such kind of content so i have hope you prepared really well for tcs and qt 2024 and all the best for your exams till then have a happy coding